Hello there and welcome back to the Master Moldy channel. Now before we get into the depths of today's video, which is a really, really fun one by the way, you're going to want to wait until the end because some of these minifigures are a lot taller than they should be in universe and you don't notice it when you're looking at them on screen, but there are some big differences between the two. But before we start, I'd like to ask you, because I've got a lot of sorting that needs to be done, and these drawers are an absolute mess. Is that something you'd like to see on camera? I know I've probably got the Star Wars side of the Lego Star Wars fans watching this video, but let me know, would you like to see me go through my drawers again? I think I've done it a few times here and there, especially when setting it up. That was so long ago, we've got a whole new audience now on top of our old one so if you would like to see me go through my drawers sort it all out it's nothing too entertaining i will be honest there's probably a few things you might pick up from that video but i see so many other people doing it and thought i'd ask you the audience if that's something you want to see so if it is drop a like on this video or perhaps let me know in the comments just put yes or add yes to the start of your comment just to let me know that you would like to see that sort of content and even if you wouldn't i'd appreciate a like on the video but today we're looking at 15 characters i do believe and modifying their lego minifigure mainly the legs to make them add up to the height in universe and today's video is centered around the original trilogy there's just so many star wars characters this video would have gone on way too long for any of the others. If we spend a minute talking about each of them, that's still a 15, 20 minute video and I don't wanna keep you too long. So let's get straight into the first character and I think we will start off with Han Solo. So our first minifigure, Han Solo, is actually the perfect minifigure height. That's right, he is exactly 15 plates, which is the average height for a Lego minifigure. So he was the perfect example to start off with. And I'm actually gonna add another minifigure to the mix because Han is also the perfect type for a Stormtrooper, which is why it makes so much sense he was accepted to become a Stormtrooper in the first place in the movie Solo. And by perfect height, I'm scaling these minifigures to a one to 45 scale height ratio, which means 180 centimeters in real life is exactly 15 Lego plates tall, which is the scale that I work on for my custom mocks, such as Kenobi's Delta. And for the perfect dimensions, I know that the width of these figures is just a little bit off. They're almost two thirds as wide as they are tall. So they are quite wide minifigures, but that is a conversation for another time. In this video, I'm trying to keep as number three as I can. So for all these minifigures, I won't be telling you their exact heights because that information is readily available on the internet. In fact, I'm using Wikipedia myself to get all their heights. So they're as accurate to Star Wars lore as possible. You can see for Leia, we scroll down to descriptive information. She is 1.5 meters. They give it meters, very, very nice for me because it makes it easier to convert into Lego and I'm sure you'll be able to work out what that is in feet. And that is another reason that I'm giving the height in Lego plates at a 1 to 45 scale, because then I don't have to work out the meters, convert it over to feet for the quarter of views at least watching from America. And because it's all in the 1 to 45 scale, I can then show you a lineup of minifigures at the end, which is why it's important that you wait so you see you have a perspective. You can see how tall minifigures are compared to the other characters in the show. You see them on screen all the time throughout the original trilogy, but what does that look like with Lego? Also, are Lego ever going to match the heights of these characters? Because we tend to have adult legs for, well, adults. Then we have sort of teens and twenties, sort of, we get the midi scale legs now. Then we have short legs for younger characters. We have the Grogu bodies for babies across Lego City. I don't know if we've seen that used in really any other theme, but would Lego consider matching heights? They do it for Ewoks, they try to do it for Yoda, but would they do this for other characters that are shorter than the regular minifigure? And one of these characters is actually everyone's favorite space princess. Of course, we are talking about Princess Leia. Now, We've already seen she's only 1.5 meters tall. That is 12 inches below the other two characters. But 
what does that look like in Lego? Well, Leia is definitely one of the shorter characters out of the bunch. In fact, she's one of the shortest characters we're going to be going over today. And we will be sizing up Yoda to his original size or sizing down, I guess, with the bigger figure. But we're actually taking the legs off this High Republic Yoda because Leia, to match the height of the rest, and obviously we would have preferred like a shorter torso, actually uses some short Lego legs, which I think is crazy that this minifigure represents a five foot one person in real life. So I am very, very sorry to any of you that may be around a similar height and are now realizing that Lego represent you using the short legs, but that is minifigure height compared to Han and the Trooper. And you can probably see better now that the height does look about right. She's not too short. She's still about 80% of the height of the other two characters. But it's just funny seeing someone like Leia with those short minifigure legs. It looks like Marvel did a Mighty Micros line where they gave a bunch of superheroes short legs. And it looks like I've just done that for the Star Wars characters. That would be really cool to get like a twin pack of micro fighters and get some short legs on our favorite characters. Now, looking down the list of our characters, there are a ton of characters around Han's height. Leia is actually 12.9 plates tall. So she's actually a tenth of a plate shorter than her minifigure is standing up. And of course, things like helmets and other accessories will change the height a little bit. So we'll have to account for that later on with the Vader and Chewbacca. But next up, we're going to go with a very similar character to the Han and Trooper and look at Landonis Calrissian. I called him Landonis in a short recently. Not really sure why that is his full name, but everyone knows him as Lando. This is a custom Lando I made and I did feature this in yesterday's video actually. So you've already seen him. He is so close to being the same height as Han. He's slightly shorter and that puts him at 14 and three quarters plates tall. Obviously, we can't get three quarters of a plate. Well, not easily for a minifigure at least. So the minifigure is close enough. I am rounding for the sake of this video. And Lando is similarly sized to the average minifigure, which is very nice. Another character that is actually the opposite of Lando. And he's half a plate taller than Lando. But again, we've got to round down. And that is Boba Fett. So Boba Fett is another minifigure that is about the correct height, which is very, very nice. I mean, four out of five of the minifigures here are the height that Lego make the minifigures. I think you can see why Lego have chose 180 centimeters to represent the minifigure. Well, at least at the 1 to 45 scale, at the 1 to 30 scale, it does throw it off a little bit, but usually they're for more detailed sets and don't require the minifigures to be inside. We're looking at some of the UCS sets here, which it does get pretty clear that the minifigures can't fit inside. We're speed running this onto someone the same height as Lando, which you might not have known because I'll be honest, I thought he was a little taller than this, but that is C-3PO. C-3PO, another minifigure that is average height. And again, he doesn't have the hair piece, but he still stands up to be the same height as someone that does with that custom molded head. And on to, we've already seen the Stormtrooper. There are another three minifigures that are this height. But I think we'll switch it up and go with someone who's on the other end of the spectrum. We've seen Leia and how, well, not as tall she is. And you saw an image at the start that compared her height to Vader. So let's take a look at Darth Vader. Obviously, he's a bit taller than the regular minifigure gives him credit for. And... The helmet isn't far off the minifigure head with hair. So we are not really going to take the helmet as any extra height added because we want to bulk up this minifigure. So let's see how tall Vader actually is. And if you're still watching at this point, be sure to smash that like button because it really does help push out these videos so that more people can enjoy them. So Vader is a total of 16.9 plates tall 180 centimeters is the average Vader's quite a bit taller in fact we have a stool that when I stand on I am the exact same height as Vader and I really do like that that means we're adding another 1.9 well we've got to round up to two plates to Darth Vader and 
Just wait till you see how tall Chewbacca ends up being. And there we go, Vader is towering over everyone else. You can see, if I bring Vader and the princess forward and try to recreate that scene at the start of this video, yeah, it's definitely clear that Vader is a little bit taller than Princess Leia, but he is the tallest minifigure so far. I think that would be so menacing. I know Vader was actually a bit higher than Anakin. I'll try not to get into too much of the Star Wars lore here, but they increased his mechanical legs a bit like Maul in the Clone Wars to make him appear more menacing, and it definitely does the trick. We have... Well, we done Vader, let's look at Kenobi. How tall is Kenobi? A bit taller than Lando, and he's actually the same height as another minifigure we're about to look at, but he is 14.8 plates, basically the same height as a regular minifigure. Once again, Lego don't really need to go to specifics of making legs the exact height. I'd love to see some customs probably do that and just reduce or sand down the feet of not official Lego pieces. I don't recommend breaking pieces. Sometimes it has to be done like the Minecraft theme. That chest with the handles was really annoying. But if you do own a off-branded minifigure, perhaps it'll be worth sanding down the legs and seeing the perfect heights of the minifigures represented. Most toys don't even go with the actual heights and usually they have something like the Black Series, for instance from Hasbro for Star Wars. All have the minifigures roughly scaled to six inches, and that's what LEGO have done here, with them scaled to a 15 plate tall minifigure. But it's really interesting seeing the variety of heights we've got so far. I mentioned there was another minifigure the exact same height as Kenobi, and it is the Lord and Emperor himself, Palpatine, or Darth Sidious in this case, who is 14.8 studs tall. Now we do have a Palpatine minifigure but the funny thing about this is Palpatine isn't actually that tall. So Lord Sidious is 14.8 plates tall, Palpatine's only 14.4 and that does mean we're going to have to remove that dress piece. I really like the fact that Lego have made this new dress piece because the 2x4 slope they used originally was actually 6 plates tall Lego legs are only five plates tall, so the Emperor's legs are actually the same size as Palpatine's dress piece now. It's a piece that's been used across Palpatine, across, I think, the Elves and the Lord of the Rings sets. Uh, Dumbledore's even got them. But Palpatine isn't actually five plates tall in the leg region, only four. So it might not look as good, but it's got the accurate height of Palpatine. And I mean, you can just see how much Vader towers over him. It's actually pretty cool when you realize this is Master and Apprentice here, and this is the Master. So there's not much control he could have had over Vader when he's being towered by him. So definitely makes sense why he's wearing, perhaps the robes are to cover his high heels that he has to put on and walk around in all day, which he'll definitely change for slippers when he's on his throne. In fact, he's not too far off the height of the Yoda minifigure. He's a plate taller than the Yoda minifigure. So when you put that into perspective that Yoda is almost the height of the 1 to 45 Palpatine, that does sound really funny. But of course, Yoda is not actually meant to be this high. In fact, there's not really much we can do with this minifigure because Yoda's actually meant to be the exact height that Lego have used for Grogu. And I'm sure this wasn't done on purpose. I really do wish that someone at Lego sat there for Grogu and went, okay, let's work out Yoda's height and make a minifigure that size. Someone really wanted a Yoda to fit on Luke's back for a Dagobah training scene or some sort of diorama, which would be really cool. But this is the actual height of Yoda at 1 to 45, which I thought was really cool. And We've gone over characters like Palpatine, so we can break away from original trilogy for just a second. If you are curious just to how tall Grogu is represented in Lego, it's half the height of his original figure, and it's three plates tall. So this is the closest I could get to a Grogu minifigure. Ignore the cut on my thumb. I've tried to go with the 1x2 tile on top to represent Grogu's ears sticking out, and it's absolutely tiny. Let's compare Grogu to Vader for a second. Yeah, Vader's likely to accidentally step on Grogu at this size. It's crazy seeing some of the really tall characters next to the, well, 
not tall at all and some of these smaller alien life forms that we see on Star Wars. So Grogu is the shortest on the list and you all know who the tallest is going to be. We'll get on to Luke Skywalker in just a moment. But first off, I want to take a look at Chewbacca. Now, Chewbacca does have a really, really tall head and I am going to ignore the headpiece. It's definitely a plate or two taller than the minifigures. So perhaps it's not going to be as tall as it's going to end up. Probably a plate. So we'll take that into account in just a second. But Chewbacca is a total of 19.2 plates tall. Well, Vader was 16.9. So that is over two plates taller than Vader. And that means we're going to have to add four plates to the leg of Chewie. So I've got some of these dark brown plates which line up better to the colour of Chewbacca than just the regular Chewbacca and it's very handy that I've ended up ordering these. I can't remember when I did it but I stuck all the same colours onto these columns and left them in the tub which is really really handy. But let's attach these legs to Chewbacca. As I said He's not quite this height because the head is one plate taller than the other minifigures, but this isn't far off. Perhaps what we'll do just to make it really accurate is only give him the extra three plates and account for his head to give us a better look at how he compares to some of the other minifigures. I don't think I can put him next to Grogu. I don't think I can do that to Grogu. I'm going to end up putting him behind just because of how tall he actually is. And you can see... He's towering over Vader. That two plates really does for a number. Perhaps that's why Vader was so attached to getting rid of the Rebels. It was nothing to do with Luke Skywalker. He didn't want a Wookiee threatening his height because Chewbacca does tower over every other minifigure here, but I think a Wookiee would still be intimidating if I was the height of Darth Vader. Now we've only got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, two more minifigures to go. I thought we only had one but I've completely forgotten about R2-D2. Now R2-D2, I'm not quite sure how tall R2 is so let's take a look. I think he's probably about this tall so that's about nine or ten plates tall and that is when he is lounged back with his leg sticking out well the good news is r2 is pretty much minifigure scout i know r2 looks really really tall compared to the others but when he's lounged back he's meant to be a little over nine plates tall and he is between that nine and ten plate mark obviously standing him up he's going to be a plate or two too tall but when he is lounging back He's pretty much mini figure scout. Now he does have some bulky legs, which again, I would prefer if these legs came straight down and he was only them three studs wide, much like all the other mini figures at the back. But I think that's crazy to think that if you were to relax R2 just a little bit more, he's basically mini figure scout. And you could even extend this leg out a little bit more just so it does reach the floor when he is further reclined. I think it's absolutely crazy that R2 is practically minifigure scout on a 1 to 45 scout, but I guess there's not much more we can do with it. R2 is practically perfect in every way. Now, on to the final character of the bunch, Luke Skywalker. Well, we all know he's a little short for a stormtrooper, so he's not going to add up to the minifigure height, but just how short is our rebel hero. There is actually some discrepancies between how tall Luke Skywalker is meant to be in Star Wars, but this is taken from not only the visual dictionaries or any of the costume guides, there are tons of them out there, but also from Lucas himself, because Luke's height does vary with Mark Hamill's for quite a big portion of Star Wars. Now we are going to be removing his usual five plate tall legs, but he's not as short as Leia. So I'm sure you all figured by now, Luke Skywalker does get the midi scout legs. And I've actually taken them off his mother, the Padme minifigure that I got in the 2019 Anakin's Pod Racer, which I still think is one of the, if not the best set that was released that year. So Luke's got his midi scout legs. And just to compare 
him and Vader for a moment. He's like shoulder height on Darth Vader. I'll show you an image of them both in Return of the Jedi to compare with the minifigures. It's a bit more exaggerated because Luke is only just this short and Vader is only just this tall. I've rounded up and down respectively, but well, down and up respectively. I'm sure you know what I mean. But here we have our whole cast of original trilogy characters. Starting off with Grogu, then we have our Yoda, then we have Princess Leia, R2-D2, Luke Skywalker and Chief Palpatine are the same height. Darth Sidious is a little taller, the same height as Kenobi, 3PO, Boba, Lando, Stormtrooper and Han Solo. And it's crazy to think that they're the height of a regular minifigure. Vader then towers over the rest with Chewie even towering over him. So hopefully you learned something about one of these characters today. I think the height difference between Chewie and Leia is practically double her height. That's crazy. And I will be trying to remember this when I'm building my 1 to 45 scout mocks because it's very important that the minifigures size up to how they do in ships. If you would like to see me tackle another era of Star Wars, be it the prequels, the sequels, the Clone Wars, the Mandoverse, perhaps some Ahsoka characters, do let me know down in the comments and I'll consider making another one of these videos. If you'd like to see more videos in general, smash that like button, it really does help support the channel and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on more awesome Lego content. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Check out all the videos on your screen now and may the bricks be with you always.